What's up guys, Red Hot here. Before we get started, I just wanted to say Happy New Year and thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting me on this channel. We hit 1,000 subscribers right before the end of the year. and My plan is to hit at least 10K this year. I'm gonna be posting a ton of content for you guys. My plan is to upload at least three times per week. So make sure to comment below what you'd like to see from me. All right, so getting into the topic of today's video, how to spot bear trends. We identified a new low was coming on Friday before it even happened using this strategy and capitalized over 50% on puts that were dated for Tuesday. So you can imagine what the gains would have been like on a zero DTE. I'm posting all of these trades in Discord in the free options alerts channel for you guys. Every fill, every buy and every sell is posted in this channel so you guys can really follow along with me. Um, if you guys want to join, there's going to be a link in the description for the discord and, uh, that's the last I'll go on about that. All right. So what we're going to be looking at today is how to spot bear trends. I'm going to bring up my spy chart from Friday. We're going to look at spies chart from the five minute and we're going to show you how I knew that there was going to be a new low coming in on Friday. All right. So this is pretty much just a key fibs lesson as well. So if you're unfamiliar with Fibonacci, and uh, Fibonacci based trading, I'd suggest taking a look into it. It is going to change your trading and uh, you guys will really like that. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at here is how to spot the trend for the day. Now, this is going to sound a little counterintuitive, but just hear me out, especially if you're new to options trading, you want to sit out for the first 30 to 45 minutes. And I know there's a lot of moves that happen here and they're usually profitable on the options chains, right? There's a lot of range that usually happens in the first 30 minutes when the trend is establishing, but it's an easy way for new traders to get hit hard and they're done. They can't even come back because they got hit so hard at the beginning of the day that they don't trade for the rest of the session. This can help you with that so you're not just, you know, crapping out in the first 30 minutes of the trading day. We want to avoid that, right? So first thing you do, you take those hands and you put them underneath your ass. You want to sit on those hands and not do a thing. For the first 30 to 45 minutes, you just want to watch price action and see how it develops. You're looking for a violent move in price action to one direction or the other. One big rangy candle on the 5, 10, one of those shorter time frames that really establishes where algorithms want to tra take the trading day. All right, this sets the tone for the rest of the day, this candle. We call this the impulsive move. On Friday, the trading day was December 29th. We had an impulsive move to the downside. So here I have it marked off. It was at 945 EST. We had the biggest range that we had so far on this five minute, and we established a new low. This was at 379.06, I believe. So we hit that new low at 379 and we can tell, okay, this is going to be a bear trend day. We had algorithms come in and sell off hard, but the next thing that's going to happen is they're going to want to get back up, take this up so they can short it back down again, even harder for the next leg, right? It's never just going to go down, 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 down. These algorithms like to pull it back up to a certain FIB level and then shoot it back down to create new lows, right? So I knew a new low was coming because it was a bear trend day. We had an impulsive move to the downside at 945 and we failed to make a new high telling me that bulls were not strong on the session. And we ended up getting a good, a really good opportunity to short here at the 0.786 because what you'd wanna do is this is the first thing you do is when you sit this 0.5 we hit this 0.5 fib the 380 34 level here the first thing you'd want to do is you start scaling into your puts between here and the 0.786 is the best risk to reward for a short to the downside we're going to be waiting for the afternoon leg here while we're scaling in and the problem is here if you're keeping your stop tight say you're in a small account situation like i am then it's going to sometimes kick you out before the leg happens. So you need to be vigilant in what you're trading and how you're doing this. Me, I use this to trade SPY intraday. I know a lot of FIB traders using this on other tickers, but 
This is just my experience using it on Spy. Uh, you can get chopped out depending on if you're using a zero DTE, like a zero DTE is really going to chop you out quickly. If you're at a 15, 20% stop, because that's just the name of the game for those zero DTEs. So I'd recommend maybe taking a couple days out if you're going to do this. That way you have less of a chance of getting stopped out. The reward might not be as great, but it will avoid those little paper cuts that really do add up after a while, right? Especially if you're paying commissions and blah, blah, blah. So here we looked at this 0.786 and I, like I said, I post every trade into the Discord in the free options alerts channel. And we'll go back there right now because I'll show you what I did. At 11.15, I put in an order for the 380 puts this is when we crossed over into that 0.5 onto the 0.5 fib and uh yeah see around here we were coming up and testing and i thought we were going to break out of this pendant break down to the downside nope that did not happen you can see here i got faked out and we ended up shooting up and testing this 0.786 uh pretty much perfectly and dumping out to create a new low of day so what I ended up doing is taking that 195 put and because it's a small account, I needed to have it with a tight stop. And I also took a zero DTE, which was very quickly stopped out. So I got stopped out at 1132 and then I got stopped out at right here on this next candle when we came in. Uh, up towards that 0.786, it ended up triggering my stop loss around here, I believe. So I really had to time this correctly. This was the problem with the low volume trading within holidays is you're going to have to be very patient with your entries. And uh, I wasn't. So once I kind of learned, all right, I'm going to have to wait and wait to get a really good risk to reward play. Once it tested 381, that's when I alerted I was entering for my 380 puts at 177 you can see here in the discord 177 at 1209 with a stop at 150 and holding for a new low of day so i even let the chat know that i was aiming for a new low of day that was my target here right 50 minutes later premium still haven't hit my stop and spy is still chopping in this golden zone here so I decided, you know what? There's some decent risk to reward to add a contract here and keep the same stop. That way my risk is a little bit higher, but not much. And I'm averaging down on the con on the position just slightly, right? So I ended up taking that position at 165. My average on the contracts was 170. I'll pull back the chart here. And uh, like I said, that was the second fill came in at 1252. That's when I ended up alerting the discord. And here is one o'clock. We chopped, chopped. 115 is when we really broke down, broke below VWAP and created a new low of day at 120 or 125 actually. It, it pushed as far as 378.40. The previous low of day was at 379.06, right? So we pushed a whole point lower and uh, puts went from, uh, we pull up here. I can show you guys my exact fills. Uh, we ended up getting filled at 240, I believe. Yep, 241. And I said coming up on a new low of day and sold at 270. So I was out. <laughs> I was saying finally because I had been waiting for a while, got stopped out of two of the plays, but it ended up being worth it because the small account ended 7.47% up on the day and we did a $140 gain, right? And that was off of only making one of three of my trades for the day. So we waited, we waited, we played with good risk to reward and we got paid bigger than we lost. As always, we get paid way bigger than we lose and that's why we use stop losses, but we make sure to move them up, especially when we're in profit so we keep capturing more, right? All right, so to recap here, we have to take a look at SPY and go over it just one more time. And this is to how I, to identify it, right? We have to look for that impulsive move, the violent candle in one direction or another. We have to draw our fibs long or short, depending on the direction of that candle. If it was a bullish move, impulsive move, then we draw our fibs long. If it's a bearish impulsive move, we draw our fibs short. 
we wait to enter the 0.5 or 0.786 to go short or long. In this case, it was short on Friday, right? And we hold for algorithms to push to either a new high or a new low of day. And that's exactly what happened on Friday. And we got paid off it. All right, guys. So if you're interested in trading with me, uh, like I said, we're doing this in the Discord. There's going to be a link in the description of the video. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing. This is the most transparent options trading challenge you're going to see on the Internet. I'll let you know that right now. So thank you guys for supporting me in 2022. And let's make 2023 the best trading year possible.